two and a half years of planning coming finally to fruition, it was, it was just a good feeling. I slept really well that night. So he started on Monday, no, he said he uh, initially mapping the graves. There are going to be four graves. Um, one is a control, so it's going to be empty. We're just going to dig it up and then fill it back in again. One was a grave that contained six individuals. One was a grave that contained three individuals, and then we had a single grave. The control was the same size as the six-person grave. So we, we dug the six-person grave um, down to 70 centimeters as well. And then we did the three-person grave down to 70, and then the single down to 70. We weren't sure we were even going to be able to get that deep. The, there's a lot of rock out there we're right on the bluff. Um, the soil is very, very heavy clay. So we were lucky that we could go that deep. It was a lot of dirt that we moved. <laughs> we had a lot of help from graduate students and other faculty, and it was we moved a lot of dirt. <laughs> um, and then it was time to start placing the bodies. Because, because we're going to be looking at changes in the soil that is um, influenced by decomposition, um, we didn't want the bodies to be separate from each other and laid just next to each other. So we, to, not only to simulate a mass grave, but also to um, maximize the concentration of the decomposition. They're, they're placed fairly close together. The data that we get, uh, namely LIDAR and spectral data, the data that we get will be processed um, in increments as it sort of comes in and analyzed. And what we'll be doing is essentially just looking to see if there are um, anomalous data points um, associated with the study area. Um, and if we can identify the graves that we've buried, um, we're onto something. We also, um, to maximize the use of, of the, the donor's generosity in the land, we um, will use those graves when we're finished with the project as a short course on excavating mass graves. And because of that, we also included um, some artifacts that may typically be found in a grave, such as shell casings, bullets, wallets, a shoe, which simulates mapping evidence from a, a real mass grave. It's slated to be a three-year project, although I think if our results are like outrageously fantastic, I would try to continue it till five years. Um, but it's slated as three years. And once the bodies are in, um, we will be doing constant data collection. It was very exciting to have, to have begun the process and um, at the end of it everyone was exhausted and excited and just thrilled that it had begun and that the work, that the, really the hard laborious part was over. And now we, now we observe them, right? That's the exciting part, that's the science.